Kate arrives back in London to welcome third baby. It's not long to go until the royal baby arrives, and we can't wait. The Duchess of Cambridge has been spending the last few weeks between her parents' home in Bucklebury and Sandringham, but is now headed back to London as she prepares for the arrival of her third child, Prince George, four, and Princess Charlotte, to whom have since returned to school for the new term had fun over the holidays taking part in an Easter egg hunt with their grandparents Carol and Michael Middleton. While Kate was even spotted doing the weekly food shop in Waitrose, Norfolk. Hello, as royal correspondent Emily Nash said, Kate and the family have spent a lovely Easter holiday in Norfolk but now they're back in London and George is back at school and Charlotte is soon to be back at nursery. I'm sure Kate will be enjoying a few moments of peace before she becomes a mother of three. Kate is due to welcome her baby any day now, and St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington. London has prepared for the arrival of the new prince or princess by setting up barriers outside their exclusive Lindo wing, where Kate will give birth. Over the past week, royal fans have been camping outside in the hope of catching a glimpse of the Cambridge family and the new baby following the birth. The baby will arrive around four weeks before another major royal event the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who are getting married on 19 May at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The last time Kate was seen at an official engagement was on Easter Sunday, when she attended the annual church service at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, with William, the Queen, and other key members of the royal family. William, meanwhile, was last spotted one week ago as he enjoyed a night off parenting duties to attend the Aston Villa vs Cardiff City football match in Birmingham. After the game, William seemingly let slip the gender of the baby, hinting that he was set to have another son. According to the Mirror, he told fans, I'm going to insist the baby is called Jack, before adding after a pause, or Jackie.